at same time. Okay, now let's continue. This section, you just keep reloading it to know the status of your art. So keep checking from time to time. If it is disapproved, if it has misleading content or anything, just keep checking there. So I'm trying to reload mine. So see if there is anything yet. Okay, it is still under review. You don't add billing until this place, is, this status there is showing approved, just like you are seeing for, for this, this is an advert here. Just like you are seeing for this advert here, this is a different advert here. You can see approved there. Just like you are seeing approved there, you don't add billing until you see approved. Sometimes you can see eligible. And if it's also okay, that can run. You can add billing then. Now, when you want to add your billing information, um, try to create it on a different tab. You can, you can duplicate your current tab. And duplicate your current tab. Now, from here, just go to, you can either fix this error here, since you have to fix it here, or you just come here, these tools are setting, and this is your billing. Just, just go to settings and get there. So let me just fix from here. Now, you can't choose anything without this section, this first section. The country and the US dollars, just leave that. But there are some accounts that will not display. Okay, when you get here, this your account type. If you click on it, you choose your, it is on business by default, just leave it that way. Now your business name, Oh, the business name I used the other time. The same business name I used the other time is what I must use now. Health is wealth. That was what I used the other time. This was exactly how I wrote it. Now, name here is the name of the owner of the Gmail. You don't change that. Just leave it the way it is. Now, the card you are going to use, you must know the precise address registered on that card. That address is what you type here. This address line one. If the address is too long, for example, you say this speed must not must be at most 64 characters. If the address is too long, all you just need to do is very simple. Just continue on address line two. Just from where you stopped address line one. Just continue. Just continue here. That is why you have two address lines. So don't compress your address in line one alone. Make use of address line two. Just type your address there. If that is the address you registered on your card. Then you can leave the suburb, then the city. Type the city, the city of that address. Type the city there. Search for the postal code online. Type the postal code. Make sure all these things are precisely correct, please. And select the state. If it is Lagos state, the address is in Lagos state, select Lagos. This primary contact, you don't need to change it. Just leave it the way it is. Then how you want to pay. Now, there are two options here. You have the automatic and the manual. The automatic is the postpaid. At least your advert, will, you'll be given a payment threshold. Your advert will run to a particular level before you pay. I will come back and explain the thresholds and how it works.
Now, the other one is the prepaid. That is the manual payment. It means you need to pay into your account. You need to pay a particular amount. For example, if I want to pay, the minimum I can pay is ten. Is ten dollars. That is the amount. Just the list I can pay at once. At least you let us add ten dollars to your account before it. You can decide to add fifty dollars. Doesn't matter. And there's one thing about this. If, for example, you, you added fifty dollars at first, and you had develops a problem, you get suspended, and you have only spent twenty dollars. Google will refund the other thirty dollars that you have not spent. It will automatically refund you. There's a way you can do it. After some days, it will be refunded. I think after a week or two, you'll be refunded. Google will not owe you any money. But <clears throat> I'm choosing automatic because that's just the best. That's the best. But there's one thing I want you to know that I have discovered that some accounts will only have the manual payment option. You won't be able it will, it will show you that some payment options are not available for your country. Most times it is because the Gmail is not so old enough, it's not mature enough. Most mature Gmails that are one year or older, active G, uh, Google accounts, we always have the automatic and the manual option. Most of them. And there are some, even if it's a mature account, you only have manual payment here. You can go ahead and create a new account. It is very possible that the new Google account, the new Google, new Google ad account you are going to be creating will be in automatic or manual payment. It will have the options of choosing. But I'm very grateful that this one is on automatic. It's an automatic, please. That is what you should use. That's the best. That is postpaid. It means you don't have to pay before. Then here, you enter your card information. I'll enter the card information. I'm just entering this one from my head. It said card number is invalid. So I will enter the CVV. Now, this card holder's name is the precise account name. The name the person register on the card in the bank, in the bank account. Write it precisely the way it is. Then select check this box because the address you, you you submitted there i told you it should be the address of the address you submitted there should be the address on the card so it is the same address you are using here then you click i agree then you submit but before you add a card please you must add a minimum of one dollar on it because google will charge you that one dollar and it will be refunded to you though it will be refunded back to your account so your card will not be accepted until you have one dollar because google must know that they can charge that card so you must have at least one dollar on your card before you do that so i don't like adding billings you know i don't add billings until the status of my ad is approved until that is so i don't add billing so until this place shows approved this pending pending on that review i will not add a billing so before we proceed if there's anyone who has a question on this billing section please go ahead feel free and ask me a question now um okay yes, sir. i have okay. a question go ahead please you know there are times you would um use a card and you would have more than one dollar on it and then google will still tell you correct card info what can you do in that case probably the address or something about the card is not correct it's not all cards google accepts so are you getting me but in yeah. most cases if the card info is correct the card number is correct the address if the address is not very correct, it's not correct to their own satisfaction, the, the card will not be accepted. Okay. So try to submit your correct card details to the best of, uh, of your knowledge. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions with that part? Yes, sir. I have a question. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. I mean, I saw your screen, but one of those Google ads, you said 
with uh, one big your, your, your voice is not so audible, please. Okay. It's better now. With one Google account, with one Gmail account, you created like two to three ad accounts. But okay. I've tried it too, but I noticed that whenever I added billing, the two we get, if I created two with that Google account, the two we get suspended. And they would, the reason for that would be um, maybe fraudulent billing stuff, yeah. No. So I want to know how. Suspicious payment. Yeah, suspicious payment, yes. Uh, it is not, you can be, even if it is just one ad you have on it, you yeah. can get suspended for suspicious payments. For suspicious payments. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I have had okay. three to four ad accounts three using four billing on the same Gmail, and I did not get suspended. Okay. So that is not a factor. Wow. That is not a factor. Okay. It's, it's not something never, that can, can, that can that work never, upon. Or has it ever happened to you? What? What? I said okay, is this is something that maybe okay. it's just something I'm doing wrong I, that it's no, that is making no, them suspend it. No, no. Okay, if you attended the last meeting okay. I did, I said I did I, over I, 20 rewards last month, and every one of them see that they get suspended for suspicious payment or they are not even approved at all. So just keep trying, okay. are you getting me? Just try to supply okay, the correct. Sir. It is very good if you, if the, the owner of the Google account is also the owner of the card. It is very good. Although, although the last okay, one sir. I did with my Google account and with my card, yes, I got suspended for suspicious payment, and I appealed, and my appeal was not approved, was not accepted. But then you okay. can still keep trying. Are you getting me? Okay. Yes, because sir. I have a lot of people that have done it recently and um, they had they are approved. So it is with that faith that I am okay. going to do another one too. Okay, sir. Thank yeah. you, sir. You're welcome. Any other questions, yes, please? Please feel free to ask your question. Now, like I have said... Yeah, I have this, a question. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I noticed um, there was a card. Uh, a card details I added. They had another um, card details. So I could not remove the card that was declined. So you can remove it too. It's just like you don't know how to. It can be removed. I can't, I can't do that here because... Okay, let me see. I think I have an account here, but this account has been suspended. Let me go to the billing section, if I can see, find it. Okay, this is the billing section. When you, if you want to remove a card, you cannot remove a card without, the, see this, it's just like Facebook. You don't want to remove your card. So there is no way they can track you if they allow you to remove that card. So, before you can remove a car, you must supply another payment method. Or you pay, there are two things. Either you supply another payment method that can be charged, or you, or you, you pay the amount that is due, that is your outstanding debt. Pay the debt, then cancel the account. You'll be able to remove your card then. Or if, if not, it means you have to supply another payment method. Do you have another payment method you want to add? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. So what you just do is when you're on this section, go to the go to the payment method. You can see summary, document, transaction, and payment methods. So you come to the payment method. So let me reload this page. I've been here for long. Even here, when you get to this point, you can pay with, if you have an outstanding, you can pay with butter, you can pay with almost any platform here. And you add that. So this is, I'm on payment method. So what you just do is you add a new payment method. I don't have a payment method I want to use now, so I can't add it. So after adding the two payment methods, you are going to be seeing two here. Now what you are going to see for the new payment method, the reason why this is not here is because you see, the other payment method, you are, going to, you are not going to see primary there because it is not, 
you are going to be seeing primary here. But for this other one, you are going to be seeing none. You are three of them. You'll be a drop down arrow there. You are going to be seeing none. Make primary. That is, make it the primary payment method, or you use as backup. You are going to see the two options there. So what you just choose there is make primary. Immediately you make this other new payment method primary. This primary you are seeing here will no longer become primary. So by that point, at that point you are you can you can remove this card here. That new card you have added, that new card you have chosen as primary. The, the details will automatically move to the left of your screen here. Then this one will, be, will move to the right here. Then you can remove this one. There, there's an option there, a button where you can remove it. It means the debt is going to be this this card is going to be responsible for that debt at that moment so you'll be able to remove this are you are you following me hello hello i can hear you sir uh -huh. so you'll be able to remove it but if if you add this and add that if you use that one as backup, it means if there is no money on this, Google can go ahead and charge this one, just like Facebook. You can make primary or okay. not. So this is how you come here, you add a new payment method, make this one, make the new one primary, then remove the old one, and you are good to go. Do you understand now? I can't yes, see your screen again. No. I can't see my screen now. No. All these ones I've been saying, call. You didn't see my screen. Not at all. Not at all. Nope. Ah, may God forgive you, all of you. You didn't tell me now. You didn't know. Can you see my screen now? Yes, we can see your screen. Ah, and that lady was saying she understands. Ah, wow. I can tell you that you are going to be like, okay. This is what I'm saying. I have I have a I have an account but I've added payments to before. Are you seeing my screen now? Now assuming, yes. I, assuming I have a debt here or I want to remove this card, I cannot remove this card until I add a new payment method or I cancel the account. And if I'm canceling the account, it means I have to pay my outstanding debt first. So what I can do is you come to pay, you can see summary, documents, transactions, payment methods. So you can come to payment methods here. So all the cards you have added, they will be here. I only have one payment method there. So like I asked the writer, you said you have a new payment method you want to use, you want to remove the old one. You can even add that here. There were sometimes I, 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 I owe Google some money and I'm, I'm, I was not ready to pay. I added butter card here, and I removed my card. I put the dead and I deleted the butter card. May God forgive me, and God forgive me. Amen. Yeah. Now, what you just do is add payment method. When you add payment method, you, you supply the card details, blah, 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 and save. Then the new payment method will be showing here, on the right, here. You, you have another add payment method icon below them but then this option here this primary you are seeing it is just primary here, no other option because it is the only payment method there but on this new payment method you are going to be seeing three options there will be a drop down arrow there first option is you can either make it primary you see make primary use as backup or none if you use it as none, it means it is not going to be used as backup and it's not going to be used as primary. Backup means, if you use it as backup, it means if there is no money on this first primary, this primary account, this primary card, Google will go to this next one and charge it if there is money on it. That is because it's using it as backup, just like you have on um, Facebook too. But you, you can have the option of using it as primary. If you use it as primary, automatically it is going to switch to your left there. Or sometimes it may not switch. It can just remain this way. It doesn't switch, no problem. 
But on this one, you have primary before. You no longer have primary on it. You have those those three options you have here before. Those are the options you have here. Then, in addition to that, you be you have the option of removing it. You can't remove this one because it's the only primary method. So on that one, you'll be able to see remove. Then you can go ahead and remove it. Then automatically, this one becomes the only primary method, and you won't be able to remove that one until you supply another card. So, do you understand now? Yes, sir. Do we all understand that part? Yes. Yes, okay, sir. Now. I would like to take more questions, please. Um, so can I ask, ask a question? Of course. Okay, okay, like now, you explain how I can remove the card and said if I don't have money there, it won't be removed. So how do I know the due amount? If you there check? now, if so you there, yeah, you see it on your summary. Yeah. This is if you go to your building, this is the first page you see. This is your summary. You can see here is zero because this ads have not even run at all. Assuming I've spent up to twenty-five dollars, it will be showing there. It will be showing. Are you getting me? You know the amount due. Okay. Are you following? Any other questions? Hello, sir. Go ahead. I have a question, sir. Last month I created up to three ads and the status was approved and added the billing already. But to wait for about five days and nothing was happening. And up to this moment, I think they changed the status of one back to eligible. So I don't know the issue right now. Okay. And uh, uh, I, I think I understand you. But that's because of the bidding. And I've 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 just explained that tonight. But for as many of us that have Google Ads that have been approved, are you getting me? But right. it's not delivering, or it's eligible and it's not delivering. All you just need to do is come back here. This is a sample Google Ads. Although I've changed this, but this is how you just do it. Very simple. Try to maneuver your screen such that you are going to go back to your bidding. You can either come to more details here. Can you see my cursor? Yes, sir. Or you come to here, go to more. This is settings. Click on settings. You don't need to cram this. So just come to this your bidding. What I taught you guys before was you are going to have you, you initially you had um uh, you had nice maximize clicks, okay. And you, you have yes, set sir. your CPC, maybe 0 0.03, am I right? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh -huh. So what you just need to do, this is how it is now. So you just come back here, change this your maximize click, change this your bid strategy. Change maximize click to manual CPC. All right, sir. And save. Then go back to your ads and extension. I mean, your ad group, rather. Go back to your ad group. Okay. By default, when you change it for the first time, you are going to have 0 0.01 here. Are you getting me? So you can change yes, it to, to whatever you wish, 0 0.03. Or anything you wish. I I believe that on that one day or two days, your adverse should start running again. So you can you, you can change that immediately after this training. So by the end of tomorrow, hopefully your advice should start running. For everybody, a lot of people have complained about this. But I just discovered this with the help of some of some of us here that have been using it and they have been getting very mad conversions. Some some of them got eight eight to ten orders in a day or so. so. All right, sir. Okay, now any other questions? I still have some things to tell also. So please let's just ask our question before. Or should I continue? Okay, now for Google, I want to explain the Google um, automatic payment, which you call postpaid. If you have a pen, you can pen it down. Now, the first threshold Google will give you if you are using automatic payment is $50. I think we are all familiar with that. 
Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. After fifty dollar, what is the next threshold? Can anybody assist me with that? Two hundred. Two hundred. Okay. Um. Are there cases where your next threshold will not be two hundred dollar, but it is going to be another fifty dollar? Has anybody experienced that? Has anyone experienced that? Where instead of your next threshold being twenty-five dollar, Google is going to repeat another fifty dollar for you. Then the following one will be twenty-five, will be two hundred dollar. Has anybody experienced that? Okay, it happens very well. And this is it. If on reaching your first threshold of $50, if Google does not meet up to $50 in that account, the account will stop running. The ad will, start, will stop running automatically. And it means you need to go back, add money to your, your payment method, and you initiate the payment manually. After initiating the payment manually, the ad batch will stop, will, will start running again, but your next treasury will not be $200. It will be another $50. But if on reaching the first treasury of $50, if Google meets $50 in your account, it is going to charge you automatically and your next treasury will, will be $200. So if Google does not meet enough amount in your account, it will stop and it will repeat that threshold. But after paying $50, if it stops and you pay it, then it gives you another $50. Even if you do not pay the next one automatically, if you go back and initiate it manually, the next threshold is going to be $200. But on reaching $200, if Google does not meet $200 in your account, it will stop. When you pay it again, it will repeat another $200. But if it meets $200 in your account, it is not going to stop. It is going to keep running and it will give you a $350 threshold. So there's always going to be a delay if you don't have enough amount in your, in your payment method. Mm -hmm. So I always, suggest to you that please as long as you have a google ad that just keep paying keep paying it is going to ease your burden and your stress try as much as possible to pay did we just get the little explanation i did yes, yes, okay um another thing is please if you are using a new card, know the address, know all those things. Try to make withdrawals with that card, withdrawals, then do online transactions, send money, buy things online. Let the card be active before you use it on Google. Let the card be active. Um, is there any other thing I have not told you about Google Ads? Is there any other thing? I think we are good to go for Google Ads. Any other question for Google Ads? Any other questions? I want to say the little I want to say about Facebook before we end the meeting. Any other questions? Okay, for, for Facebook, I want to talk about the threshold for Facebook, what I have discovered lately. Let me talk about the business manager. Do we all agree that you cannot create a business manager now without getting disabled, right? Yes, so. Okay, so what yes. you do is. What you do is. Um, uh, after opening the business manager, you ought to verify the email. You can easily do that. But then Google will ask you to verify so that the, the business manager has been restricted. Your business account has been restricted. So before you, you can appeal, they will also ask you to verify. There are two modes of verification. One, you are going to need to supply your business, uh, business credentials or 
corporate affairs commission, blah, 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 all those ones. But now I don't have, most of us will not have those documents. So you cannot do that. But if they said they notice some unusual activity and they want to verify some things, the only thing they are requesting for is a photo ID. I think I have I've done more than 10 accounts and I've been open, able to re reopen the account and I've been able to appeal. The thing is, if you have, if that person that has that email has a valid ID, like a national ID card that has his picture or an international passport and they can give you, just snap it and upload. And after some days, you'll be able to appeal and your business account will be opened. But where the danger comes is, many people may not want to release that document. One. And two, even if they are, they are good enough to you to release it to you. Their, their Facebook name does not match the name on their ID. Like I said, okay, your name is a uh, comfort. And you wrote, your Facebook name is Miss Isabella. You know, things like that. It does not match. There's no way Facebook will be able to verify it. But if your, your, the name of your uh, uh, Facebook account matches the name on the ID, you are 100% certain that Facebook will reopen the account. I have done it several so I know. Do we get that now? So we can try that. You'll be able to reopen your business managers. Now, one other thing is your payments. Let me talk about this. If, for example, you have been paying for your ads, maybe on, on Facebook, I have paid maybe $15. You want to pay $25. But on getting to $25, Facebook does not meet $25 in your account. It is going to stop. It is going to ask you to settle your balance. I think you are very familiar with that. Normally, after paying $25, what should be your next special? $35. But because that account stopped, and you, it stopped before you paid, before you settled the payment. Believe me, you your threshold will go back to either two dollar or five dollars after after settling the payment. Yes. So that is just the new new uh, way Facebook ad is. And in fact, another dangerous thing is if your ad is running, probably it's about to get to ten dollars. Maybe you are, you are paid two, 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 five, seven, and it's now ten dollars. And probably you want to change your payment method. There is there is a very high tendency, like ninety percent tendency, that if you change your payment method before it gets to ten dollars, that payment that threshold will also drop back to two dollars. It is something that I've experienced very, very, very frequently lately. So if it happens, don't say that you are not aware. It happens. It's what is happening recently. So try as much as possible to have one fixed payment method. As much as possible. Try to have one fixed payment method for your ad, for your ad and keep paying. So with this, I think I've, I've come to the end of all the information I want to um, I want to pass across this evening. Please, I want to entertain questions. We have just four minutes more before this section ends. Any other questions, please feel free to ask your questions. Any questions, please? I have a question. Go ahead, please. I want to confirm if there is a, a limit to the number of ads accounts you can create on a Google uh, account. Mm, so far, I don't know the limit, but at least you can create up to five, six, seven. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Christiana, Adejai, any question from you? No, sir. No question. When are you going to create your Google ad? I'm going to create it tonight, sir, so that they will approve or review it. Okay, please and um, please try to follow the new method I used so that your advert will not just be approved without delivering. So every one of us that have 
approved advert has not been delivering, try to make the little adjustments and I'm sure you are going to get good results. Mm -hmm. I wish you were the best. Any other questions, please? Okay, since there are no questions, uh, I wish us all the best and um, uh, we meet next time. Hello, sir. Okay, okay. Yeah, I have a question, sir. If I have an account that has been suspended, it's be because mm. the a card was declined and I'm not getting any feedback. After appealing, how do I Contact make use of the again. card? Uh, make use of uh, the card. What card? As in the card that has been declined. Declined. And I'm not getting as a, a card. As in maybe a, an account was suspended because a card was uh, declined due to <laughs> suspicious <laughs> payments. Okay. Okay. A suspicious payment does not mean your card was declined. They are, they are contradicting yourself. If, you're, if, you have, if, you're, if your account is suspended for suspicious payment, appeal. Then wait for their response. They will, if they don't reply you, lodge another appeal. They will reply you. They will tell you that it is the open, reactivated, or they don't, they, it is still suspended, one of the two. Okay. But yeah. what if uh, a card uh, was declined? You won't be able to use it. It won't add in the first place. It doesn't decline. It won't add. It will not even add to Google in the first place. That means it is not even working. Okay. It means you get a different card entirely. Okay. Okay, now. Any other question? We have less than a minute now. Hello. Uh, Hello, sir. I have a request. Okay. Hello. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. But those of us that are joined late, can we get the like, debit in, like the file or something? I will see if if the team actually recorded well. If it if it recorded well, I will send it to the group. All right, all right. Thank you very much. Okay, the meeting has ended. Please, let's have a wonderful night. I wish us all the best. Good night. Good night.